how to search using Credo Reference. Credo Reference is a very popular and general database for getting started with research. When you search Credo Reference, you're searching 550 full text encyclopedias and dictionaries in just one search, meaning the type of background information that's easy to read you might find in Wikipedia is found in sources written by scholars in the field that you can feel more comfortable citing in your academic papers. To get started searching, consider what you're searching for. Are you looking to get started with introductory facts about your topic? In which case, the basic search should work for you. If you want to use Credo as a brainstorming tool, then using the drop-down menu on the right side of the search bar to select Mind Map will help you find related concepts based on a general topic idea. We'll explore the basic search a little later in this video. For now, let's look at the Mind Map. In Credo, Using the most general words to describe your topic will help you find the most relevant resources. For instance, if you're generally interested in Siberian Huskies but haven't gone much beyond that interest, you don't need to search Siberian Huskies and their history as pets. You would start more broad with a general search for Siberian Husky and try to narrow your topic based on your results. So the words I would use to search are Siberian Husky, making sure I change the drop-down menu to the mind map option and then click the magnifying glass to search. When I use the mind map, I have a very handy brainstorming tool. My search terms are highlighted in the middle of the map with encyclopedia entries relevant to the highlighted words available on the right side. When I look at this map, all around my keywords are related concepts that I can click on based on my interest which changes the map, presenting me with new related concepts and new encyclopedia entries on the right based on the new highlighted term that is now in the center of my map. So I start with my initial interest, and then I see something intriguing, like the Iditarod race. And then I see the entry for the 1925 Serum Run to Nome. I'm intrigued what that has to do with Siberian Huskies, so I follow that down the rabbit hole to look at the related resources. If I come to Credo with an understanding of focusing on the serum run to Nome and just needed basic facts about the incident, I could come back up to the search bar, change my keywords to more general terms like Gnome Serum, switch back to the basic search, and click the magnifying glass to search, checking out how many results I have now found. Credo has a few filter options on the left side of the screen, so you can reduce your results based on related disciplines, date, or the length of your results. Looking at the sources, you can also narrow what you view. Because I know the Iditarod is a unique event in Alaska, the Greenwood Encyclopedia of American Regional Cultures would probably give me a relevant perspective. To see the full text, I click the title of the article I want to read. From here, I get a good overview of the topic as well as the references they cite for evidence. Credo also has helpful tools when I'm reading the full text. Scrolling back up to the top of the encyclopedia article, I can see these tool icons. The most helpful being the quotation mark that allows me to cite the source in various formats, and the email option to ensure I can access this information on campus and off. If you're not finding what you're looking for, or find the background information you need and want to dig deeper past encyclopedias, make sure to reach out to librarians at coccc.edu backslash library and click on help.